Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. And I'm Josh. And Eric, I have a question for you. Okay. How do you use your brushes in Photoshop to make rocks? The general way I do it is I'll use this brush here, which you can download on the comments below, or you can go to my DeviantArt account and then download it from there. Uh, but it's this square one. It's a chalk brush. Oh. Mm -hmm. I like it because it kind of adds texture. And what I'll do is, uh, for me, most of my rocks are going to just kind of be squared off. Like if, let's say this is a little outcropping of rocks here. I kind of just make like a a mound of, of, or a shape like this, basically. And then within that shape, I kind of define what I think the rock, I guess, like if this is the area the light's coming in, then all of this is going to be in shadow. So we can kind of build out like the planes. Most of my rocks are going to have like, I don't know, smooth edges, at least on a couple of sides. So oh, we can say that the rocks are like, you know, they're kind of built out like this. Cool. So it's kind of a like a very solid looking rock. Right. And then yeah. within here, now I'll start to build actual detail. So I'll go ahead and say like, okay, well, there's probably a crack here. Maybe there's a little bit of a crack here. And you're using the same brush for this? Yep. This is all one brush. I'm just changing the size. And you're pulling different colors to do different pieces of the definition. Right. Yeah. And I'll, I'll probably kill off like, you know, just to make sure the, the sides are mm. kind of smoothed out. And then out here, I'll just keep, you know, working up until I'm in the light, basically. So this is really about defining a shape, and you're just using the brush to carry in some of the texture. Right. Yeah, the brush does a lot of the texture work for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so as long as you're not pushing too hard, you're going to get automatic texture inside the rock from, from the brush itself. And I like to keep it loose. Um, if it's a rock that I have featured in the foreground, I might work a little harder on it. Uh, and really kind of define out the texture, get more and more values in there, some more dark darks and lighter lights. Uh, but if it's in the background, I kind of just, you know, get it to a point where you can tell it's a rock <laughs> and kind of leave it. <laughs> uh, so I, I can't help but notice that in your brush pack, you have something called rock big. That's really a texture. That. Yeah, that's really more of a texture. So if I okay. wanted to, I could grab one of those rock textures like this one here and kind of like make a new layer, I guess, and then... Uh, make sure that it's on a clipping mask and kind of just give it that texture and it kind of oh. gives it that, you know, that look. And I might do that for something that's out in the background a little bit. This is just to texture it out a little bit more and kind of give it um, a little bit of noise so that right. it looks more realistic from a um, farther away. Oh, I see. So, but you wouldn't use that necessarily for any front, like... Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't you know. use it to build the rock um, right. in the same way that I'm doing right now. Because there's just not enough uh, like solidness to to the brush. Yeah, it would take just forever to fill in a shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for uh, sharing that with us. Yeah, no problem. And I hope this helped you. And we will see you on the next episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. Smell the other.